finally I'm alone. So uh, Sam and Brett have just left, but I'm gonna be hanging out in the studio a little bit longer because we're doing these new vlog style things and I wanted to take the time to talk to you guys about uh, a subject that is near and dear to my heart-ish. Uh, my tattoos, because I have them, and I don't think I've ever really uh, told you guys exactly what they mean or where they are, and I might have uh, some tattoos that you hadn't seen before, so now we can all learn about each other. Uh, the first tattoo I got, I got it on my shoulder, and uh, Romeo Lacoste, who's been on the show before, was kind enough to do it, and it's a very typical uh, first tattoo where it's really small and in a place that is hidden uh, but it has a very deep meaning so probably something I would have been comfortable having in a more visible spot but I was unsure of how I felt about tattoos at the time so I was like no one can know uh, and that is my uh, zip code in Belgium Waterloo Belgium uh, on my shoulder and it's written out in French it, right there. It says 1410, which is 1410, and all my friends where we grew up, uh, I went to St. John's International School, and we would always just say like 1410. It, it's, yeah, now that I, I say that out loud, it's like having like Mr. 305, like Pitbull across my chest or something, but I got that on my shoulder because uh, I wasn't sure how I felt about tattoos, and um, once I got that, I loved it. I loved them a lot. It hurt and they hurt a lot, but I knew that I wanted more. So I think about a year later, I went in again to Romeo and I got this. Uh, and these, this is a mountain range, and I'm sure you've seen this one before because it's uh, pretty obvious. Now, the reason why I got this tattoo uh, was because I wanted another one. That's important, I just like the way they look, and so I did want another one. And then also, um, I had just quit my office job that I was working to pursue comedy or working in entertainment full time, and it was a really uh, scary move for me. And what I remember thinking when I, when I quit my job, I went on a road trip for about a week with my girlfriend and my dog, and I just turned off my phone because I had been working as an assistant and I was on call all the time. I was I was on call for 24 hours but I was in the office from like 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. every night and um, just my life became this job that I had fun doing and I liked a lot of the people that I worked with but I didn't really care about and it didn't grow me at all as a person and I remember going on this road trip once I had quit after having a, a meltdown um, with my girlfriend, my dog, like the two people and canine that are the, mean the world to me and looking at the mountains and looking at what was around me, which was not Los Angeles, and realizing that it was giving me the perspective that I needed to just remember what was important because uh, so much of what I was worrying about when I was at that old job was not important and didn't affect me at all. I love the share quote that is, uh, if it doesn't matter in five years, it doesn't matter. And I was, it's really easy for me to get bogged down with stressors of things that don't matter. So I, I got this tattoo because it reminds me of these views that had such a profound effect on me and what I value to this day of just keeping perspective of what is important in my life and the stuff that actually holds holds value. Uh, then the next tattoo I got uh, is on the back of my arm, and this is the book cover to The Great Gatsby, also done by Romeo. So yeah, the first three were done by Romeo. And uh, The Great Gatsby is my favorite book, and I know that is sort of sounds dumb because it's a book that everyone's read in high school or a lot of people read it and it didn't make much of an impact on them. But for me, it had a really uh, deep impact, deep impact on uh, my life. And just the characters were so resonant, the writing. The, first of all, people uh, forget that the, it opens with basically uh, Nick Carraway saying that his, uh, the, his favorite lesson that he learned from his dad was check your privilege. So I really like that. And I also just felt fell very madly in love with Daisy reading the book and Jordan Baker, just the characters, all of them, I, I love them a lot and I love the overarching theme which is about uh, dreamers and daring to dream even if it kills you and that is something that I, I hold dear in my life. I'm obviously, you guys know me, I'm kind of a, I'm a corny little romantic dreamer so that's um, definitely uh, something that I, I wanted on my, on my body forever. But also, to be quite frank, I just wanted another tattoo, but I knew that uh, every tattoo I get, I want to be able to explain 
to my kids one day. And uh, this is this is a book I hope that they would like and read as well. I also think that Romeo just did an awesome job on the shading, but I bruise so easily when I get tattooed that her lips were um, pretty like purple for a while. And people are like, oh, you got a color tattoo. I don't really plan on getting any color tattoos, but who knows. The next one I got um, was just, it's this one here. Um, and it is, it says, lean not on your own understanding. And that's my favorite Bible verse. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and all of your ways acknowledge him and he will set your path straight. Uh, that is a lullaby that my dad used to sing me. And also, uh, you know, that my faith is really important to me. And I, it's just something that I have identified with so much because lean not on your own understanding reminds me to humble myself to the things I don't know and to always strive to be uh, as, as educated as I possibly can on issues and realize that I don't have all the answers. And that is, uh, re has been a really empowering thing for me to remember, especially in a position where I, I work in front of a camera. So a lot of times I say things and it sounds like I, I know what, I t what I'm talking about and I, and I try to do my best to uh, stay well informed, but there are a lot of things that I'm gonna be stupid to and not to have pride in the way of that and just to accept when I'm wrong and accept the things that I can't change and my I should not lean on my own understanding because I've been wrong about so many things. I used to think that I wanted an infinity symbol tattoo on my hand. So, you know, that was something that I should not have leaned on my own understanding of. I'm glad I got convinced not to do that one. Uh, that I just got a tattoo shop on a Thursday night with my friend Tina because I felt so moved. And then the last one, my most recent tattoo, uh, is this this guy on my arm here. I went to uh, Charlotte to visit some friends of mine just about a week ago. And um, this is a, a Belgian silver fir tree, which is uh, basically, this is the tribute to my upbringing in Belgium that I wanted the thing on my shoulder to be, but I didn't have the balls to do at the time when I got this first one. So I went with two of my oldest friends from Belgium uh, who now live in Charlotte and this guy at a, I think Seventh Sin Tattoo in Charlotte, they were really great. They designed this up for me and I got it and I, I really, really like it. Just sort of, a, there's a compass for where I plan on traveling um, in my life. And then there's the tree about my roots of growing up in Belgium, which is important to me. But ultimately, uh, I know that some people give uh, great weight and great meaning to tattoos. And there's definitely all that and the ones that are on my body. But aesthetically, I just really like uh, how they look and how they make me feel. I kind of view them as passport stamps for where I've been in my life. So I think I will definitely get more. I will probably want to finish. So I have like this guy in the front, this guy in the back, um, like business up front, party in the back. And I think I do need to do something to sort of fill out this arm. And I would be open to your suggestions if you uh, have any idea of what I should do. I was thinking of maybe putting like a lobster. Plot dismissed, bring in the dancing lobsters. <laughs> And then like the claws go down, I don't know. I like claws and then tail. We could, you know what? We could have some conversations about this in the comment section below. But uh, that's basically been my tattoo experience thus far. And who knows where I'll be uh, in a year or two from now. Maybe we'll do another check-in video. Hassan and Amir are convinced I'm gonna have a face tattoo soon. And maybe that, maybe who knows, uh, I enjoy them. But that, that that's my tattoos. This has been fun, uh, being alone in the studio, talking to you guys. <laughs> Look at how lonely I look. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate all your support so much. I'll be checking in with you guys in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger Vlogs. Sure, that's what we're calling it. Grace's alone time in the studio.